The upper die center is another example of a part where they show you a half section, which means we're just going to make half of this and revolve around a center axis. It's also showing that there's a counterboard hole here, so we are not going to incorporate this into our half section. We're just going to make this part solid and make a hole on the top of this part after we finish revolving. So let's go back to Inventor, make a new part. 2D sketch and you should see that there's a rectangle and another rectangle like there's just a line connecting this back to here. Trim off the parts we don't need. And now we can start to dimension. It says the entire thing is 0.75. This distance is 0.3125. This outside diameter is 2.1875. We want half of that. and this diameter is 2.0625 divided by 2. Then if we look at the detail here this angle comes down 0.156 and it's 0.125 wide. That should encompass just about everything. I don't think there's anything that we're missing. So let's uh, revolve our sketch around this axis. Look at the front of it, right click, make a new sketch. Immediately finish your sketch. Select the yellow dot in the middle. Select hole. There's a counterboard hole. The major diameter is 0.4375. The depth is 0.3125. The through diameter is 0.25, and that is through all. If we look at the back of it, there's a tapped hole. So we need to make this as a point. This point is a half inch up above the center. Finish your sketch, select the point, hole. We know it's tapped. It is a clearance hole. It does have a depth. has a depth of 0.5 and it is an 832 UNC which means it's a number 8 hole. So number 8, half inch deep. Number 8. I don't see any notes about surface treatment, fillets, chamfers, nothing like that. So we need to check to see what material this is made out of. And it looks like it is upper die center, aluminum 6061.
right click I properties physical material aluminum 6061 click OK and save this as upper die center